Hello and welcome to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the select list function. This was a question sent in uh, at uh, QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com by Sao Don, and I thank him for asking. And if you have any questions, of course, feel free to drop me a line there. But again, how to use the select list function in Quantrix Modeler. I have here uh, three, three different matrices. I want to uh, calculate by month, by list that I input into the scenarios here, which is really by plant, uh, the average inventory for each month for my plant combinations. And you can see here that my calculations will be going on here in the inventory report. Uh, my transactional data that I'll be summarizing or averaging is based here. I've got month, I've got plan ID, and I've got inventory. And then really my scenarios, inputs, matrix is where I'm going to list uh, what plants I want to be averaging by month. And I have these, uh, the plants listed here in drop down format. So in order to calculate average inventory using the select list, I would go ahead and I would go ahead and click it and then type in select list select list open print and what is the value that I want to bring back uh, that would be over here in sales inventory so go ahead and click uh, that uh, what is the key list in this case I'm going to be looking at uh, plant ID and what is the lookup value list or what are the values that I'm going to be looking up. Uh, typically in a select statement this would just be the value list, the, the lookup value, but since it's select list it, it prompts for lookup value list and my lookup value list is going to be found down here in scenario inputs in uh, the plant category and once I close that I'm going to before I go ahead and enter I want to take the average from this select list and I go ahead and you can see that it calculates the average for all the plants for C and B but it's the same for every month uh, that's not the case if we were to summarize the data here manually and really look at it so I also need to throw a using as again using as is where you link items to categories uh, what is the what is the item that I want to link I now want to link month as uh, this month here and you can see that that is working perfectly so if I go to uh, my sales and inventory matrix and I filter on say month two filter values uh, let's just go to month two make that selection and I want to filter on plants C and B and it looks like those are the only plants available in month two I can take the average of those down here in the corner and I can see that for month two it's 59. It matches perfectly. Uh, again the beauty of Quantrix Modeler is uh, say I want to run another scenario and I don't want to see plants C and B maybe I want to see plants A and B and what their average is uh, by month I can go ahead and put in A and let's be if that's what I said and you can see that I get a totally different answer based off of the criteria that I put in here uh, for scenario 2 versus scenario 1 so again select list powerful functionality where you can look up uh, different or various number of items uh, using the select statement and return them to your model also if I wanted to add another input and add another plant I could go ahead and just do that out here so again uh, just some powerful functionality with Quantrix Modeler uh, using the select list function if any of you have a uh, question about Quantrix that you need help with feel free to drop me a line or <clears throat> at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com I, I love Quantrix and you can follow me here at YouTube of course as well as on Twitter and I hope you come back and, and uh, watch another educational video on Quantrix and that you'll be able to employ the power of Quantrix in your uh, analysis.